right, this is going to be a pretty short video. We have one or two more like this to get through. But then after that, we will be getting back to our more typical mini documentary style of stuff instead of, you know, just going over articles. But having said that, this one is a little more infuriating than normal. Jeffrey Epstein accuser denies claims that photo with Prince Andrew was faked. So, Virginia Roberts Gouffre's attorneys say the picture that was said to have been taken at Ghislaine Maxwell's home is authentic and unaltered. So, obviously the implication being pushed here by Andrew and his buddies is that Virginia Roberts somehow faked these photos where she's posing with Prince Andrew at Ghislaine Maxwell's apartment. And yeah, I know. If any of these powerful people like Andrew and Dershowitz and all the rest are truly innocent as they claim, then they should have nothing to worry about. I mean, we already know that Prince Andrew continued to hang out with Epstein long after the first time he was convicted for crimes against children, or I should say minors, and we also have some pretty compelling testimony and photographic evidence indirectly presented against Andrew from the Roberts vs. Maxwell trial, so at the very least it deserves to be seriously looked at. But anyways, let's read some of this article here. A woman who accused Jeffrey Epstein of forcing her to have sex with his powerful friends has denied a claim by allies of Prince Andrew that a notorious photograph of them together was faked. Now, obviously, they're referring to Virginia Gaffray here, but let us know if you guys think there's any possibility that this photo could have been faked. Virginia Roberts Gouffre's attorneys rejected the claim as a troubling assertion and reiterated a request to interview Andrew about the late wealthy financier Epstein, who killed himself last month while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. And it'll be interesting to see if Andrew agrees to this interview. I mean, what do you think the chances are of that? I think it's pretty slim. I don't know if you guys have read Virginia's testimony from the Ghislaine Maxwell trial, but I cannot strongly enough recommend that you look into that if you haven't already. There's stuff in there that I probably will never be able to put on YouTube. There's a link to the entire 2,000 pages in the description. The photograph shows Andrew with an arm around Robert Scouffray's waist. It is said to have been taken by Epstein at the home of his friend Ghislaine Maxwell during a visit to London in 2001 when Robert Scouffray was about 17. The image has dogged Andrew since it was first published in 2011 by the Mail on Sunday, which paid Robert Scouffray for the photograph and detailed her account of encountering Andrew while serving as a traveling sex slave to his friend Epstein. So I guess the mail paid her for the photo, but it was also included in the unsealed Epstein documents. I really don't think that it was available freely before that, but there's a lot of other photos in those documents as well, including the one which proves that Virginia had definitely been to Zorro Ranch, you know, Epstein's creepy impregnation farm, or whatever he wants to call it. Before you make up your mind on any of this Prince Andrew connection, remember that Epstein had Scotland Yard listed under, quote, security in his little black book of names and phone numbers, so just take what you want from that. Let's read on. Last week, unidentified sources close to Andrew were quoted by the Daily Telegraph and the London Evening Standard raising doubts about the photograph's authenticity. They argued Andrew's fingers were chubbier than they appear in the picture and that he was taller than depicted. And yeah, that's their evidence that the photo is fake, that the guy's fingers are chubbier. And again, it was presented during the trial, so it's interesting that Ghislaine Maxwell didn't claim that it was fake way back then because after all, she's in the photo as well and it was taken in her apartment and she was the one on trial. So if it was presented as evidence against her during that trial, why didn't she say that it was a phony back then? But anyways, we're just going to read through a lot of this really quick right here. But one of Robert Scouffray's attorneys, Brad Edwards, told The Guardian the photograph was authentic and had not been altered. Edwards shared a letter addressing the claims that he and David Bowies, I think that's how you say that dude's name, uh, Bowies, another of Robert Scouffray's attorneys, sent to Andrew this week at the Prince's home in Windsor following earlier remarks by Andrew expressing sympathy for Epstein's victims. Edwards wrote, while your recent press statements indicate your sincere desire to help the victims of sexual abuse, we are concerned that certain statements attributed to you, which we hope do not reflect your actual views, are quite inconsistent with a desire to deal responsibly with the serious allegations that have been made. The letter read, We now see, for instance, a troubling assertion attributed to you that a well-documented photograph depicting you, Virginia Roberts Gouffre, and Ghislaine Maxwell in each other's company is a fake. Edwards reminded Andrew that he had been asked by lawyers to discuss the circumstances surrounding this long-held photograph several years ago during the course of civil legal actions brought against Epstein. The letter read, We were puzzled and we must admit disappointed that you did not cooperate at that time. Nevertheless, 
Given your new attention to the subject and your pledge to cooperate, we renew our request for your cooperation. Yeah, guy, I really hope you can get him to cooperate, but I definitely would not count on it. Roberts Gouffre alleged in a December 2014 court filing that she was made to have sex with Andrew among other friends of Epstein. Andrew has always vehemently denied the allegation. In 2015, a judge ruled that the allegations made by Roberts Gouffre about the prince were, quote, immaterial and impertinent and ordered them to be struck out of a claim against Epstein. Big surprise, right? I mean, what is it with this guy and all these top-level politicians and people around him? And one of our upcoming videos will be going over some of the court transcripts. I'm pretty sure nobody is going to think her claims are immaterial and impertinent after hearing some of the unbelievable stuff that's in there. In a statement last month, Andrew accepted that it was a, quote, mistake and an error to have continued seeing Epstein after the disgraced money manager pleaded guilty to soliciting prostitution from an underage girl. Yeah, dude, you think? I'd say it's a pretty damn big mistake to be best buddies with a convicted child rapist. I mean, God, the arrogance on these people is just, ah. He insisted that at no time with Epstein did he see, witness, or suspect behavior relating to sexual abuse. Yeah, other than posing for a photo with an underage girl and having your arm around her bare midriff other than that whole thing, right, Prince Pito? He also reiterated his denials of any wrongdoing. This is what Gouffre says happened immediately after that picture was taken. Let's not forget, there's also a somewhat newer video out now that allegedly shows Prince Andrew in Epstein's New York apartment peeking through the door and waving goodbye to a young woman. But anyways, let's wrap this up before I put my keyboard through the monitor. Epstein, who was 66, was found dead in his jail cell in New York last month. He was awaiting trial on federal charges brought more than a decade after his original plea deal with U.S. authorities in Florida. The plea agreement allowed Epstein to serve 13 months of an 18-month prison sentence, much of it on a day release. The deal had come under, you know what, there's nothing new in here. I'm pretty sure we know all of this. So there you have it. We don't have much to add here. We just wanted to talk about how Prince Pito's crew is claiming that those pictures are photoshopped. I don't buy that for a second, but let us know what you think about it in the comments. We have a few more short videos coming out before we release the first part of the Epstein documentary, and in some of the next videos, we will definitely be getting into those documents. So don't forget to check the description box for the links to the article and the 2,000 pages of court transcripts and documents. We also have links to all our social media stuff and how you can support us if you want to help us out a little bit. And don't forget to check back soon for new videos. We will see you guys then. Peace.